between the North Cajo Trojans and the Clark Montessori Cougars. 49-46 is your score in favor of the Cougars. Down low, he's gonna get a foul call. We'll see if that's on Torre or Raheem. It's gonna be on Raheem, and thank goodness, because that would have been the fourth on Torre, who's been the offensive guru down low for the Cougars today. So before the end of the third quarter, the star for the Cougars, Kevin Lewis, saw the ball go into the hoop on a one for two free throw attempt and a desperation three to end the third quarter. And let's hope that extends into some confidence and gives Kevin the opportunity to start filling that bucket up. Two missed free throws for the Trojans give the Cougars an opportunity. Chaz Bell from Torrey Shutter. Stands the lead to five now. And a wide open, Kenny Thompson misses it badly on the right layup. But an offensive rebound and putback is going to be fouled. And Terrell Packer is going to go to line shooting too. So two quick fouls on Raheem. Luckily, he only has two fouls. But it hurts the team now because that's seven for the team. Give you some perspective. The Trojans have five team fouls as well. So they have a foul to give before Clark is in the bonus. Seven twenty-two in this fourth quarter. Left to go in this game. Clark Cougars up three, and now, oh, ri rolls out to Ray Shattuck. Not usually getting that luck today. Rolls out, and a quick bucket by Kenny Simpson on the other end. Closes the gap to one point. Khalid. Near wing, way off the mark. No lifting his legs on that shot. In transition, the Trojans are. And it way too easy for Kenny Thompson. Trojans now have the lead again, 52-51. Good pass, Torre. And one, it is. Or not. Is it a charge call? Oh, we are counting the basket. It is not a char. They're gonna call. A defensive foul and the hoop and harm for Torre. Good strong defensive move for Torre. Hoping the Cougars get back on top and a made free throw gives them a two point lead now. Micah Blythe coming in for the first time for this fourth quarter since he got his fourth foul four minutes into the second quarter. I'm sorry, the third quarter. 6.29 left to go in this game. 54-52 is your score. The next team foul for anybody is shooting a one and one We have Hey, just a quick timeout here to figure out the foul situation for some of the members on North College Hill. So here we go. Resuming play. Let's see if the Cougars can get a defensive stop here. Goes right around baseline. K. Thompson misses the layup, but it looks like, yes, the Trojans will keep possession. Nice move by Kenny Thompson going baseline. Very quick move. Inbounds to the post. Torrey caught sleeping underneath. Again caught sleeping. Luckily, the Trojans can't make a layup. And we finally corral the rebound. Up ahead to Micah. Micah 
near corner. Reverse the ball, Mosai. Khalid, far now, getting into the paint. Cannot convert near the rim. One and done, defensive rebound for the Trojans. 541 to play, up to the Cougars are. Far corner, three, airballed. Rebound Trojans ties the game with that shot. Cameron Thompson, who has been an offensive force for the Trojans today. Let's see if Michael Blythe can get on the score sheet, and he does. It's a nice triple drive with his left hand going to the hoop. Finally can add to that score sheet. Has as many points as fouls now. Again, too easy getting into the paint for the Trojans. Kenny Thompson scoring down low. Tying the game back up. Now under five minutes left to play. Mosai into the paint. Floater no good. Defensive rebound. They're in transition. Cameron Thompson, nice crossover against Micah Blythe. Can't finish. Rebound Cougars. Loose ball. We're going to have a foul called on. Looks like a Cougar. Not sure who it's on. It could be either Khalid or Kevin. And it's going to be Khalid. So any fouls created here on out is going to prompt free throws for either team. First one is good by Cameron Thompson. As a team, the Trojans are shooting at a 62% clip. That their stats are fluctuated just a little bit with some outliers. A couple people have 100% free throw percentage because they haven't shot that many free throws. Second one's missed. Offensive rebound. Raheem Dotson doing a nice job getting that rebound over the top, using his length doing that. Up one now, the Trojans are. Nice crossover. That's Kevin. Oh, Kevin cannot convert under the rim. Did all but the finishing job. And it's going to be Trojans ball. I'm not sure if a foul was called. It doesn't look like it. It's just an out of bounds call. Everyone's looking around while the Trojans are bringing up the ball. And here we go to the rim easily again. Rebound, Torrey Shuttuck. Here we go, five minutes to play. Down one. Pass attempt was tipped out of bounds by the Trojans. 4.02 to play. Three throws down the stretch. Team average for Clark Cougars is around 65%. As the Clark calls timeout. Not too many outliers on the team for Clark to inflate those stats so it's a little bit more accurate. Score, 56-57 in favor of the Trojans. 4-2 left to play. Scoring has usually never been the issue for Clark Cougars this season. Twice they have scored in the 80s, and four times they scored in the 70s. One of those 70 scores was a loss. Getting into the paint, Torre. Off the mark again, rolling around. Not going in the rim, though. Trojans rebound defensively. Slowing it down offensive. 
Cameron Thompson at the point. Near midcourt, top of the key. Give it to Kenny Simpson. Kenny, far wing, getting into the paint. Packer. It's going to be a bat foul going to the free throw line. Chris Banks will be for the Trojans. That's Raheem Dotson's third foul. With 3.36 left to play. Chris Banks shooting free throws at 75%. Misses that one. The next team foul, next foul for anybody for the Clark Cougars will send the Trojans to the line shooting two will be in a double bonus. Misses both. Nice blessing for the Cougars now. Still down one. 325 left to play. A sloppy pass by Micah. Micah not having the best game offensively for the Cougars. Kevin leading the point. Top of the key picks up his dribble. Micah going with his right hand. Trying to score. Misses. Most out with the rebound. And converts. Giving the lead. 58-57. 3.05 left to play. And up quickly are the Trojans. And an easy layup for Chris Banks. Cougars likewise with the four quickly. Micah with the reverse layup off the mark. Most out with his left hand. Athletically putting it in. Putting him up now again. 60. 57. Sorry, 60 59 is the score with 238. And Church is having possession. No one is guarding Kenny Simpson. The zone defense is not giving a whole lot of peer pressure. Three pointer off the mark by Cameron Thompson. And a one and done for the Trojans. Hasn't seen that too much today. Now up one, 2.15 left to play. Cougars gotta be smart with the basketball. Kevin driving, and the floater goes. There's the Kevin Lewis we're used to seeing. And that's gonna prompt a timeout by the Trojans. 2.07 left to play, the Cougars up, 62-59. Here we go, 2.07 left to play in this contest. 62-59, Trojans have the ball. Down three. Next foul by the Cougars. Trojans will be in the double bonus. Good defense by Clark. And we're gonna get a foul on Kevin Lewis. Kevin thought he was shuffling his feet. Probably could have been a little bit quicker with those shuffles to prevent that. But it's going to send Kenny Thompson to the line. Back iron misses the first for Kenny. 146 left to play. Back iron again, misses. Micah looking up, Mosai Daniels, can we get a fly, Zai? 
He's gonna get fouled. Goes for the dunk. I was excited. I thought most I was gonna throw it down. So that even though it's a shooting foul, that puts the Cougars in the bonus. But he's gonna be shooting too. Mosai misses the first. Mosai's free throw percentage is at 64% in his 10 games this season. Free throws are important down the stretch. Usually good free throw shooting teams are teams that go far. Misses both. That's gonna be Clark Ball. Good contest by Mosai afterwards, going after the rebound. 137 left to play in this game. Clark Cougars up three. Perimeter passing, Mosai found underneath and will be called for a foul and going to the free throw. And it's gonna be intentional. Intentional foul is going to be called. Mosai was wide open underneath. And the Trojan defender wanted to make sure he wasn't gonna convert. The foul is gonna be on Chris Banks. That's his fifth. The intentional foul is what's gonna hurt the most because it's gonna give Mosai two and Clark Cougars the ball with 126 to play. So we're gonna have Mosai shooting an intentional foul. Hits everything with the rim, the backboard, and luckily for him it went down after missing the previous two. Mosai looks much better on that form for the second free throw. The much better result, swishing and nothing but net. That gives the Cougars a 64-59 advantage. And the ball with 126 left to play. Cougars have to be smart with the ball. Kevin Lewis gets the inbound pass. Guard heavily. Micah is getting double teamed. Luckily gets it away before he gets trapped. The foul will be quickly made by the Trojans. We'll send Kevin Lewis to the line. Not sure if the Trojans know this, but Kevin is one of their best free throw shooters on the team. Not necessarily the one you want to put at the free throw line. Between Micah and Kevin, you're going to want to foul Micah. The one and one goes in. Next foul will be double bonus either way. 65, 59, 115 left to go. And the second is good. Indicative now for good free throw shooting teams. We'll pull it out down the stretch. Chaz Bell, who's been a spark off the bench, is coming in for Micah Blythe with the Chargers calling a full timeout with 1.15 left to go.
Here we go, start of after the timeout. Chargers get the ball, miss layup, and a jump ball is gonna be called, and the Cougars will have possession. 102 left to play. The advantage is seven points. Most side inbound with the press. We get a quick foul by the Trojans. Foul will be called on Kenny Simpson. And that's his fourth. That'll put, I believe, Micah at the free throw line, shooting two for the Cougars. You see the senior leadership by Kevin putting an arm around Micah, feeling confidence, giving him an arm of support. Micah, like I said, out of the two, Kevin and Micah is the poor free throw shooter at 62%. Micah hasn't shot a whole lot today, but you wouldn't guess it from that shot. Drains the first one, advantage eight points now. Nice form, rattles out. Now under a minute left to go. Lose the control of the ball, Micah gets the layup, and the advantage is now 10. 50 seconds left to play. Kenny Thompson wide open, drains the three. Back to seven points now. Press is on, bounce pass in. Travel called, ties up turn now. Seven point lead, 41 seconds left to play. Prompts a timeout for the Cougars. Here we go, 41 seconds left to play. Advantage is seven points for the Clark Cougars. With that three, Kenny Thompson gets above his season average, making his 21st point today. And that's Kenny Thompson again, trying to create space, does, and makes another three, giving him 24 points. Both side gets it, gets up court, 27 seconds. Trying to get a hand on the ball. Luckily for the Cougars, it'll say their possession. We have a four point lead here. Got a front row seat with Mosai inbounding the basketball. And we're gonna get a foul call before the inbounds can be made. So Kenny Thompson grabs, I believe, Micah Blythe's jersey four can get away and that's going to prompt Micah at the line up four now it's not a 10 point advantage like it was when he was at the line before it's going to be a little bit more pressure for Micah to make these Micah makes the first 70-65 now Micah hits the second 71, 65 advantage, 25 seconds left to play. Up quickly are the Trojans. Cameron Thompson off the mark from three. Kevin with the rebound. And they that looks more intentional than any call that they made today. Even that one against Mosai. He grabbed his jersey and basically pulled him down. We'll send Kevin to the free throw line. Up six, 17 seconds left to play. Kevin makes the first. 
advantage, now seven points. Missed the second. Now 15 seconds left to play. It's going to be hard for the Chargers to come back with this. Misses the layup. No fouls should be for the Cougars. Makes that. Quick timeout with seven seconds left to play. Score 72 67. Advantage for the Cougars. There you go, outside of timeout. Put a little bit more time on the clock. Now eight seconds, 7.9 to be exact, on the clock. Cougars windbound, up five. It'll be hard, even if they get a steal in this possession, for the Trojans to come back and win this game. Very wisely, Raheem Dotson throws it up ahead to Torre. A couple seconds run off the clock, 6.5 left. And Torre, who's been solid from the free throw line today, will shoot two. Even if he misses both, the Trojans won't have time to come down and get two possessions. The Trojans have no timeouts remaining, so they won't be able to stop the clock even if they do come down and hit a quick three. Torre puts it up. They can only now tie with no fouls with two possessions. Torrey trying to ice it here. Misses a second. No fouls should be made. And Kevin trying to steal the ball with seven seconds left to play. Stops the clock with 3.2 left to play. The inbounds play will be the final play we're going to see here tonight. Contested three is going to be off the mark. Rebound no good. And your final score. Kara Clark Morsa High School against North College Hill, We're here with the winning coach, Coach Darnell Parker. What a wild ride this game was. Once down 10 points, come back to win by six. What'd you tell your kids to get them back on the smiling side of the scoreboard? I just told them to stay, stay the course, all right? Defense would, would, would get us this win, make sure that we, we attack and we keep rebounding. They, they rebound the ball really well, so we had to make sure that we were, we sent five guys to the glass every single time, and we did that a little bit today. With two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter, you had a tight score, and you called a play. And I know a play you called, and I'm not going to mention it for competitive purposes, but you got Mosai down underneath, wide open, and that intentional foul seemed to be the turning point. Yeah, it, it, it's a good play for us. It works. It's got many components to it, so I'm just glad we were able to get it there. You know, if we make a better pass, we have a layup and one, but it, but it works, so, so I'm happy. I'm happy. Coming, coming off the Georgetown loss, this was an important conference victory for you guys. What can you build on from this victory? We, we, we just keep building. All right, we're, we're, we're a young, inexperienced team. We, we just got to keep playing for, the, for each other, playing for the next guy. And it, it's good, it feels good to be 5-0 in the conference, but it's not over. It's, it's a tight race. Sounds great. Congratulations, coach. Thanks Thank for the time. You. Thank you.